$65 million needed to get the highway widening project underway has been secured. Congressman Doug Lamborn announced that federal grant award earlier this afternoon. News 5's Andy Cohen has been tracking the project's development. He joins us live along C-470 in Jefferson County tonight. Andy. Robin Elizabeth, when we first reported about this project, it was estimated that it could take five to 10 years before the highway would be widened. Well, now they're getting ready to break ground at the end of this summer, just two years after those plans were announced and voters in El Paso County deserve all the thanks. You see, because of uh, last fall in November, they agreed to let the county keep excess revenue for highway funding rather than refund it as Tabor requires. Well, that amounted to $25 million and it was combined with another 10 million from Douglas County to come up with that 10% match that's needed to apply for this federal grant. Now, this project is the top priority for CDOT on its highway needs list. In fact, department's engineers piggybacked mandatory environmental studies in order to get the design shovel ready sooner. County Commissioner Mark Waller championed the Tabor override ballot question and says there's good reason this highway project is such a high priority. We have two of the 40 largest markets in America tied together by a section of road that has not been updated since 1962. The number of accidents are just skyrocketing on this section. CDOT studied a stretch of I-25 from here at C-470 all the way to Monument and tracked 5,500 wrecks over a five-year period. That works out to an average of three accidents per day. Now, Congressman Lamborn said in an email today that it is undeniable that the state needed this money, and CDOT's executive director praised our congressional delegation for their hard work in securing this funding. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thank